Hey, you came back by and I'm glad you did. I'm Ray Carrington and this is the Happiness Factory. The Happiness Factory focuses on the pursuit of happiness. Every man, woman, and child in America has the right to pursue happiness. And I hope that you're happy. And if you're not, let's figure it out. Today on the Happiness Factory, we have a pole saw. We have a pro run two cycle organ bar 10 inch pole saw we're going to unbox it we're going to trim these trees and we are going to review that pole saw now we're also going to cover some safety because when you're working overhead there's a few things that we need to keep in mind as to our awareness alertness and our overall work ethic so that we don't get hurt we don't hurt our pets we don't hurt anyone else so we're going to cover all that in this video and would you take a look at my giant sunflowers this one is i don't know 13 feet tall i have no idea but let me back it up and show it to you as you can see back here, we have a concrete block fence. It's a cinder block fence. And that cinder block fence is probably four feet tall. And on top of that, we have a privacy fence. Now the privacy fence is a standard six foot privacy fence. As you can see. So we've got the cinder block wall and the privacy fence. Now we call this sunflower Big Mama. Big Mama is at the top of the privacy fence. As you can see, Big Mama's way up there. I'm six foot tall. This is Big Mama. Big Mama. I love these giant sunflowers. It's the best thing we ever decided to do for our yard. It's just, we come out, we have coffee, we do the fire pit. We're spending a lot more time in our yard now that we did this. Very easy. I'll go over it with you sometimes. But back to the review. Safety harness, some tools, looks like a gas tank or oil, probably a mixed tank for the gas. Most of these kits have, most of them have the like chain oil in it. I don't know if this one does or not. We will find out in just a second. Where the chain oil goes. The chain oil go in that piece. Let's take a look at the 10 inch blade. Oregon makes a lot of these uh, guides. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see what, what else we have in here. It's a good sized engine housing on this thing. Okay, let's put this thing together and see what we have. 
Okay, it just snapped together. As you can see right here. As we have right here, we have a little safety catch and that is spring loaded. And once it gets in there, you're, you just pull it out as you push it in. And when it gets in there, here, I'll show you. I'll take it out. See, it's out. I'm going to put this in. And when it gets in there, it will just lock back down. Just like that. And that will not come out. And you tighten it here. Okay, just like that. This is True Fuel. You can get this at Lowe's. They sell a similar version at Home Depot. You can even get it at Walmart under a different name. This stuff is expensive. Uh, it might be better for you to buy the, the mix oil and mix it yourself. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video to bring you some personal information about myself. As you guys know, I, I'm balding pretty significantly. and. I've tried everything for that. I've tried Viagra, for hymns, the pump, everything. Nothing's working. My hair's still falling out. So I decided uh, to try a piece. Uh, I'm going to start wearing a piece sometimes. Not all the time. I'm, I'm real self-conscious about it. But, but I'm going to wear a piece. So in some of my videos or later in this video, you might notice my hair being thicker and different and I just want you to know that for my self-confidence I'm already a big guy that I thought that I would I would wear uh, I would experiment with hair pieces okay guys before we start trimming trees I want to go over a couple things that you must have or you should have or if you don't have it's not because I said it. it's not because I didn't tell you you must have these things number one you need a hard hat if you're cutting above your head tree limbs especially excessive sized tree limbs for instance the tree limbs we're cutting is 12 14 16 feet off the ground some of them I'm going to be using step stool some of them I'm going to be using a ladder to get to with a 10 foot pole. Well, I wouldn't say it's 10 foot. Yeah, maybe 10 foot tip to tip. But I'd say, uh, you know, 9 foot, 9 foot reach with, with the cutting tip. That oftentimes when you get busy, you might be starting out here at an angle, but you get in your mind, you get working. Before you know it, you can be working pretty much overhead, not directly, but at an angle, or you can get into it and try to reach that last one way up there, stretch it out, limbs fall, they fall. And when you're working on you know, a good size chunk of wood like I'm doing with these pin oaks, that's a heavy piece of wood. And falling from 10 feet above you really hurt and seriously hurt the other thing is no matter where you stand with this saw it is throwing sawdust safety glasses they don't have to be a real expensive pair of safety glasses you can get the Harbor Freight ones like I'm wearing right now and uh, but you are inundated of, around the shoulders chest area face area with sawdust being slung out of the bottom of that saw at a really rapid rate because it's a really sharp saw. If 
you don't get any two pieces of safety equipment before you run a pole saw over your head, get a hard hat and get some safety glasses. You can get these off of Amazon pretty inexpensively. I've had, I, I always, I'm always doing stuff where I need a hard hat. I always have a hard hat somewhere. So anyway, that's two critical pieces. Somebody else might tell you, and they, I'm not saying they're wrong, gloves. Me personally, now I'm not, this is just me. I do not like to run any type of saw with gloves on. Table saws, uh, uh, skill saws, I, I just don't. Jigsaws, band saws, doesn't matter. Because for me, the gloves fall into that pull-in rule, you know, where, where if something goes sideways, your clothes get caught into the blade, that they pull you into the blade. With hand saws and table saws, I find that rule applies for me to gloves. I, I don't wear gloves because I don't want a piece of the glove to get caught into a blade. Not that I'm working that close to this blade. I'm not saying you can't wear gloves. I'm saying you do what you do what you research the safety and you follow that. But this is a power tool. It's a dangerous tool, and I I don't wear gloves. The other piece of equipment. Anytime you're working, cutting wood or working overhead working with very heavy objects that tend to fall you should wear steel toed boots because if you take something that's 12 foot above your head and you're cutting it with a pole saw and it falls it might come off of your helmet and you go whoa and it happened really quick it happened so quick but the other thing is if it falls 12 feet above your head the six feet of travel of your body hits that big toe you're gonna get a broken toe 100% of the time, air time. Or at least, you're going to have one of them toenails that grow funny like mine. It happens. It happened to me. It happened to you. If you have steel toe boots, be still steel toe boots. But mainly, be mindful of what you're doing because it's so easy to be focused on the job that when you're cutting overhead with a pole saw, and, it, and it's one of those things, the more you do it, the less safe you can be because you get a level of comfort with what you're doing. It happens. It happens all the time. It happens to me. It happens to you. It happens to the pros that have been 15 years on the job. It happens. And you get comfortable and the next thing you know, BAM! You get laid out. This this thing right here has saved me hundreds of times. Not this particular one. I used to have a metal one. It got bent. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> they wear out. You know, the DOT expires on these so after you've had one for you know six or seven years you need to get a new one but I've had them for years and, and all my hard hats have served me well I don't wear the baseball caps you can get them like that because they don't look good I think this looks good on my head so uh, or as good as it can look on his head so anyway that is the safety gear that you need if you're going to get one of these saws this is important, guys. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not pulling your leg. Safety is important. OSHA, this isn't, this isn't an OSHA job. This isn't a construction site. This is my yard. This is my saw. I could do this in a halter top and a mini dress, and no one could stop me because it's not a job. It's, it's me doing work at my place. However, guys, you're... This, this stuff is important to, to keep you from getting hurt. And it's not about what I can or can't do, what OSHA tells me I have to do or can't, don't have to do. This is about me going to work. When I get off of my two days off, it means I can go back to work and I can make money and I can take that money and I can...
So what did I think about this Pro Run pole saw? What did I think about it? I thought it was excellent. It was very sharp. All you had to do is put the bar saw in it, oil, bar oil in it, put it together, and away you went. It was excellent. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, really, really enjoyed playing with this saw today. This bar saw, rock. Now, leave a comment below what you think about whether or not I should continue to, uh, you know, experiment with my hair. And we'll see you guys later. Stay American. Stay happy. Hasta la bye bye. This weekend, we are having a caraba. So, I've got a lot of stuff on to finish smoking. I've got a barbecue to prepare for. We're going to caraba. Well, I think that was a good show. <laughs>